Hey guys, long time no see. I still exist, I promise. I'm not leaving YouTube. I forget what other comments I've gotten, but it's just the ongoing saga of not being able to just edit these videos in a timely manner that I want to and have tech issues, but either way, let's start with like what I'm currently into, what I'm loving. I feel like my style's changing because the upcoming, you know, the summer months are, are approaching. Um, I'm more in tune with like myself and who I am and comfortable in my own skin and my body and I just, I feel good. So uh, I really quickly wanted to just share some beauty favorites that I have been liking, some fashion favorites and just Play catch up again once again because it's I think it's been a month since I filmed last so what have I been up to I have been working and I've been traveling into New York more frequently or at least this month I have um, but it's like I've been working at the doctor's office still <laughs> still um, and then the next day I'll be in New York City and then the next day I'm right back to work so it's just been it's been nuts with like fittings shootings running around town um, meeting people and meeting brands and companies and stuff like that like it's just it's been very overwhelming and then on top of that I still have you know my kids to deal with and you know whatever other responsibilities I have to deal with so it's just been it's been pretty crazy and then John went away on a trip to Virginia so I was with the kids for you know on my own for a whole week which is it's always difficult when he's you know not around anyway so the mini mag issue, I revisited it and uh, revamped it and I think I'm just going to come out with seasonal issues. Uh, so I am currently working on the spring issue. We're in the process of editing photos that we took in New York City, me and my photographer. Um, I am currently writing on some stories so there will be some, some beauty stuff, some fashion stuff, um, some personal stuff. That was the longest intro ever. Anyway, beauty favorites. Um, I don't want to show you too much because I have upcoming things that I'm going to be talking about and writing about. So, but I think I mentioned this in my last like currently loving video, but I just want you guys to know that I'm not exaggerating. But here are two empty bottles of the solution and then here's a full bottle. Now, this stuff has kept my skin super clear. I cannot be without it. I use it once a day at night. Um, after I take off all my makeup and again like if I have spots that are popping up and I happen to like extract one or something and then I put this over top of it I find that the next day my skin's ooh, my skin is uh, healed and it's it works wonders like I cannot be without this stuff um, but it is an exfoliator it's a 10% AHA BHA PHA salicylic acid acne treatment so this isn't drying for me at all. I'm I'm like normal oily combo ish, so this works wonders for my skin. Um, it definitely has improved the I guess overall texture of my skin, which is why I can't stop using it. Another glossy product that I wanted to mention were the Lid Stars that just recently came out, um, and I got my hands on the shade Cub, which is what I'm wearing on my eyelids today. I think they're just a pretty sheen wash of color. I saw Kim who works for Glossier wearing this and I was like I need to have this shade now. Um, but it it looks really pretty on the eyelids. It's like this rose gold, let me see. Yeah it's like a rose gold pink kind of shade and I've been really into like monochromatic looks especially when it comes to like pinks. Um, I don't know what my deal is with pink as of late but this shade is pretty. I think the longevity. I can't speak. I think the longevity of them is fantastic. Um, I, for one, I have super oily eyelids, so I find that I need to wear a primer underneath everything that I wear, but not with these. Um, and if you guys are interested, I'll leave my Glossier rep page down below. You get twenty percent off. I think it's your first purchase and free shipping. So, I will leave all of the info down below. Next up, I have a scent from Lalabo, and this is what I've been wearing pretty much all month. And I've worn it, and it's funny because in the city, I've gone a couple of times, and people have gotten you know a waft of it. 
and they're like, what are you wearing? And I'll tell them and they're like, oh yeah, I have that one. Or they'll recognize it or I'll have the opposite, which is people, they won't know what it is, but they think it smells fantastic. And um, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it makes me think of Rag & Bones bergamot. If you've ever smelled that, that's what it smells like, or Diptyque um, Tam Dao. It's like along those, that family, very, there's something fresh and minty about it, but it's not quite, it's not mint. I don't know, it's just a really unique scent. I love it, I'm obsessed with it, another 13. You can order, um, my girlfriend Eva, who's a big fan of Lil Abo scents, she like pointed out to me, she's like, just order a sample because they allow you to get like the little mini bottles and just, I used it the whole week or half the week. I don't even think I waited a full week and I was like, yeah, I need this because I sprayed it on myself and it just mixed really nicely with my body chemistry, but it's such a good scent. Next up, my hair. Um, I chopped it off and I went for this like French, I don't know, fringe. It's a very thick, heavy bang. I'm trying to embrace like my curly hair um, and work with the natural texture of my hair. It's really difficult because it's, my hair is really big and it just, it's very frizzy, it's very thick, it's very coarse, but I love the whole crop bang. Um, and I've had bangs before. Uh, not as short as they are now, but I love the whole wavy um, lob, bob, but it's all, you know, one length. I worked with the team over at Bumble and Bumble and Erickson, who cut my hair, who did my hair, he's fantastic. I will never go to anyone else. Like, he is <laughs> it for me. Um, I told him exactly what I wanted and how I wanted it to look and he went for it and I love it. I think it'll be fun for this summer. It's something different. I love the whole crop bang thing and it's like messy, it's thick, very PC, but um, I did take over their Insta stories uh, the other day, I think it was last Sunday. And I've been using a couple of products that he used in my hair when he cut it and styled it. So uh, first up I have the Semi Sumo, which is sort of like this, um, it's almost like, it's a pomade, but it, it doesn't, how do I say it? It adds shine, but not too much. It doesn't look greasy or anything like that. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, but it's great to just like make my bangs a little bit more PC. I kind of add it towards, you know, the ends of my hair, um, but it's great and it smells amazing. I love it. And then I also have this, which um, it's called the Surf Infusion. So it's like their Surf, the sea salt spray but there is an oil infused with it. So this, um, I just shake it up, I spray it in the palm of my hands and then kind of like scrunch it in my hair and it gives it that beachy, wavy, like messy texture. Like if I sleep on it and wake up the next day, um, my curls will kind of not, I guess die down or settle down because I don't want it to look super bouncy and puffy, but the messier the better for me. I want it to look like French As for fashion, um, I normally hate dressing for summer, spring, summer. I can never, I like my turtlenecks. I love my blazers. I love my coats and my chunky knits. So I find it really difficult to translate that androgynous style into like summer or spring, summer because I feel like I'm, I just want to take it all off and I'm melting. Um, but as I, like I said, um, I've been a lot more comfortable with who I am and getting in touch with, I guess my uh, more feminine side of myself. Um, I feel really good about myself. I've been working out, so I feel like things just lay differently on me. So I'm like, ah, I'll try it. Why the hell not? And I feel like in that sense, it's evolving. And you guys have also made comments on Instagram as well. Um, really sweet, kind comments. Um. But it's been fun getting to know, I guess, the more feminine side of, of myself. So for the spring summer, I'll actually link my mood board because I do like a mood board on Pinterest, but I'm really into like linen, um, a lot of like silk, um, those types of textures. Um, but skirts, I wore a skirt the other day 
and you'll see anyway in the pictures but I felt really good in it and I've ordered two more skirts and usually again I'm not a skirt person um I have really really long legs but they're not shapely so they're just two sticks um but that's okay it's all good um I'm okay with that but um so I got some skirts um, even long ones and some dresses, just really flowy material, uh, really into like crop tops for some reason and like high waisted shorts and showing, you know, just that little bit of tummy. I don't mind that. And then throwing like something oversized over top. So like an oversized blazer. Uh, I'm such a blazer girl. Will always and forever be. Um, but I feel that that kind of brings back that masculinity that I'm looking for. Sunglasses are my favorite type of accessory, so I will I'll pay the money for it. I don't care. I think they can really make um, an outfit, and these I've just been wearing nonstop. They've been in my bag. I'm super obsessed with Celine at the moment and all that they're doing, um, and everything that Phoebe did before she left. So very very happy with those. Speaking of being, you know, obsessed with Celine. Um, these aren't Celine though, but these are a pair of Susan Ray shoes and they're like this croc print loafer with block heel. Um, I love these and every time that I wear them people ask me where the hell are they from. They kind of look like a pair of shoes that Celine do. Um, I don't know if they're still out or not, but they're this like mahogany, like rich brown color and I feel like I'm going to get a shit ton of wear out of them. Um, come the summertime, but I love these and I was able to get these on sale off of um, The Dresslin. that's where I got these from but So so happy with them and I love wearing brands that you kind of don't really like I never I forget how it was that I was introduced to this brand But or maybe I was just surfing and then looking at shoes and I saw these and I was like Yeah, I have to have them and then they were on sale and I was like yes um, but I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of these, I'm sure, with like linen pants or with um, high-waisted shorts. I've seen the whole cowboy trend, um, and I'm not a, I'm in more of an ankle boot kind of girl, not 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 a cowboy boot, but this boot in particular, I love how modern it's cut, and I feel like I'm gonna wear these during the summertime as well. Um, these are from Helmet Lang and. Look at this point. This point is just insane. And then the heel, of course, like this part to me is cowboy. And then this is just, I love the angular cut of it. It's just such a good boot. It is a pain in the ass to take off. You can slip right into them. Um, they're not uncomfortable. They're not narrow in any way, but to take these off is, it's a bitch. Um, but I think that has to do with just breaking them in, but I'm so, so happy with them. My girlfriend who is, um, she's a stylist and she's such a doll. She sent me the link to these and she was like, this is you in a boot. You need these. And I was like, yes, I do. Um, she's like my biggest enabler, but I love her to death. I love you, Rebecca. Please bear with me because I have two more <laughs> pair of shoes. I'm a shoe person. So, um, these are my Chanel slingbacks. Uh, just, it, there's nothing more to say than it's just, it's a classic shoe. It's a really pretty shape. It's a very, very comfortable shoe to wear. I actually wore these to New York the other day and wore them all day and walked in them all day and I was perfectly fine. I'm not too precious about my shoes. Um, I mean, I obviously I store them away in like a dust bag or anything like that, but I know people get them resold or and whatnot, but to me, I like to just wear the shoe as it is. I feel like it just gives it more of a personality, um, and I kind of like seeing this at the bottom of my shoe. Like I, I'm getting my money's worth out of my shoe, um, which I don't even know if that makes sense, but I just feel like it gives it more character. Okay, next shoe, which is probably a controversial shoe, um, you either hate them or you like them. I get it they're not the most flattering of shoes but I'm obsessed with the whole um, chunky grandpa shoe and my Balenciaga triple S's are just they're my favorite uh, these happen to be the spring summer ones 
and it's there in the off-white with this like nylon texture here and then the suede I know they're big and clunky these are actually a men's um, it's a men's seven they're a little bit roomy on me but that I don't mind because I like to wear these with like thicker socks um, and I don't mind at all but I I love these I love how chunky they are I was on like a wait list forever again my girlfriend who's a stylist she always comes through and she helped me get these because these are super hard to get and I mean I get why it's it's trendy but again it's like with the Gucci loafers like what I said in one video it just sucks because um, it is a good shoe it's a good ugly shoe but because it's so trendy people are put off by it which kind of gives the shoe a bad rep but I'm obsessed I like it I don't care and I'll probably wear them for ages I don't care. okay I don't want to blind you because it's plastic I don't know if it's gonna reflect yeah it is anyway the Celine plastic bag I had to do it um this is my summer bag of choice that I know people don't get it it's hilarious because John's like every time he looks at it he shakes his head and he's like it's a plastic bag and I'm like yeah I know but it's it's fashion and he's like no it's not it's a plastic bag and I'm like no you just don't you don't understand and this is another thing that's very controversial and you either like it or you don't and that's perfectly fine it's not for everyone and I just love it and it comes with the Celine this pink pouch is the one that um, I was able to get uh, it's like a watermelon like I don't know because it's not a solid pink as you can see it's like faded in some spots but that's the way it's meant to look uh, but it's beautiful and I love it I think it's like a walking mood board is what I referred to it so um, you can put whatever you like in it and make it look pretty it can match your outfit for that day I just love it I think it's nice okay next up I have some clothing bits uh, I'm not a jean person I'm more of a trouser girl I prefer trousers but for some reason jeans have been have made their way back into my life somehow and I have found my favorite fitting pair and it has to be these ones from and other stories uh, this is I'm not sure what the actual style is I'll link it down below if I could find them but I know they're high-waisted that's for sure um, but they're like this boyfriend fit it's tapered but it isn't frayed at the bottom which I'm not into the whole frayed bit I think I have like maybe two pair of jeans that are like that um, I don't prefer it, but I will I'll wear them. I just don't think they wash well Like I know you'll let them air dry, but I think in the wash it ruins it um, And I don't like that tattered look sometimes uh, But I am obsessed with this pair of jeans. They fit so well and they look really really nice on the bum um, And they're not too tight so next up I have a couple of blazers and I have been shopping for blazers in the men's section um, I went to Kohl's most recently, which is out of all places Kohl's, but it, the men's, I think it's Chaps is the brand, um, and Van Heusen. They do a really nice blazer to the point where I purchased one and my girlfriends, I sent pictures to two of my girlfriends and they were like, oh my god, is it from Acne? And I'm like, no, I got it from Kohl's um, and paid like, I don't know, 60 dollars for them which was insane to me and I loved the fit and the quality and this happens to be one um, I wore this one to New York City and this one is from I'm not sure hold on Van Heusen and this is their flex slim fit but it's this like mini I wouldn't even say it's houndstooth I don't think so but it's this brown really big oversized um, fitting blazer I absolutely love it I love the front of it the cut of it I love the long drapey sleeves and I got another one for the summertime which is this beige linen or cream linen I guess I would say um, blazer and they have shoulder pads I kind of like that big boxy shoulder look um, again I, I love a good oversized anything Did I go to London I think it was in February but it is one from Acne Studios, which 
I paid quite a bit for, but I'm happy with it and I don't think I'll stop wearing it. I get questions about it all the time um, and it's this acne, this one from acne, it's in this blue shade. It's almost like a, like a cornflower blue, but a really deep one. Um, I love this jacket. I love the fit of it. It's very, very boxy, very um, long and just, it looks great with anything and I've been wearing it loads. I'm trying to think if there is anything else I wanted to mention to you. I mean, I'm currently loving, let's see what else. Um, I'm really into satin right now. Like I think satin silk uh, pieces are really, really nice. I have these shoes from Mango that I got and a slip and this satin pouch bag that looks like it's from the row but it's not um and a few other like satiny pieces i'm going away in less than a month and a half's time i think for vacation so i'm getting stuff to wear for dinner at night and um what else tortoiseshell is has always been like my favorite print to wear so I think mixing tortoiseshell pieces with linen um, I think that'll look really really nice for this for the summer months but um so yeah I will see you in the next one I'm not sure what it is I did film that sneaker video the files were corrupt for some reason I don't know what happened with my SD card and it like ruined all of the clips so I'm not able to, I'm gonna have to refilm that video again because I already had it filmed, which sucks. Um, but I will be doing that. Um, and what else? I don't know, let me know what you guys feel like seeing because I just, it's again, it's really hard for me to get videos out, um, but I'm trying and we will continue. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one, bye.